back to family yoga with myself Kelly um, at More Yoga or if you're first time here um, then welcome you have started at the right time it's a nice short so I won't do too much talking um, but a short session where we'll do some breathing exercises we will do some um, poses and shapes to move and energize our body and then we'll do another breathing exercise at the end which will help us to connect a little bit um, further as a family and I'll give you some fun homework to take away and use in your homes together and a lot of this practice is also about just freshening your atmosphere in your home because we are together a lot uh, more than ever in these same home, same four walls. So it's a chance to just change the atmosphere a bit. If it's been a bit stale or stressful, we can make it a bit more fun and positive. So hopefully your mats are either just in a line or if possible in like a circle so you get to see each other a little bit. Um, if you don't have a mat, a towel or something on your floor is cool. And a cushion or something, maybe some of you have blocks that you like to practice with. Um, a block is like this, so if you're maybe a bit older and you do lots of yoga, you might have a block. Um, so if you want to start, you put it under your seat and your cushion under your seat or just sit on your mat. And let's start by taking some big, big circles with our shoulders, three or four one way and then take three or four the other way, just softening your shoulders, relaxing them, maybe they're a bit stiff from sitting at your desk all day. And then we're gonna lift the shoulders to the ears, and then we're gonna drop them. We're gonna lift them up, and we're gonna drop them. This time we're gonna add the breath, so we breathe in through the nose as we lift them, and we breathe out through the mouth as we drop them. Three more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. And one. Good. Take some big rainbow shapes with your arms. So one. We'll take three more. Two. Like we're drawing little rainbows in the air. And a big bit like a yawn as well. Three, one more, big yawn. Four, this time, like with the shoulders, we add the breath. So we breathe in, we go, and we breathe out as the arms come down. So the breath's a bit longer this time. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. One more, breathe in. Breathe out. Good. If you can, you can stay on your block. If you prefer, you can move it off. This time we're gonna sit on our bottom, so we're really on our, on our seat bones. We're gonna bring our legs up. We start to feel our bellies working a bit, and we start to shake our hands and our feet. It's a bit like you're flicking water into your family. So you've got imaginary water on your hands, on your feet, and you're just waking them up because we are often not very connected to our hands and feet and we use them a lot in the day. So we want to just wake them up a bit. Let's do 10 shapes, okay? You're going to have to use your belly. If it's too much up here, just take it a little bit lower or keep your feet just a little bit off the ground and we're going to shake for 10, okay? So shake the water at someone in your family. Ready, steady, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Let's try for 6 this time. So maybe turn the other way, shake at someone else. Ready, steady, go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> awesome, guys. Do one more. This time just for three counts, so it's going to be a bit shakier and a bit quicker. So get yourself on your seat, squeeze your belly in. Ready, steady, a one, a two, a three. <laughs> Good, nice. Come back to your seat. 
either on your block cushion or just on your mat, hopefully a bit more awake. If you were here last week, we did a really great, fun, energizing breath called Lion's Breath. You might already know it. If not, I'll demonstrate it once. So we have our lion paws and we have our lion tongue and eyes. And what we want to do is we want to close our eyes and this one is a silly one, so you want to look really silly and a bit crazy as well. You want to close your eyes, close your mouth, you breathe in, and when you breathe out, you open your pores, stick your tongue out, and open your eyes. Okay, so I'll demonstrate it, so I can be the silly one to start with. So you breathe in. Breathe out. Like you're doing a big roar sound, but it's like a big breath. And if you want, you can look at someone in the room and see how crazy they look. Okay, let's have a go. So sitting nice and tall, lie in pause, breathe in, close your eyes, close your mouth. Breathe out. <laughs> so the wider your mouth, the wider your tongue, the better it will be. But you don't want to be too close to someone in your space because you don't want to breathe all over them. So keep your, your own little mat, your own little space. We'll do three more like that. Look at someone else in the room, perhaps. So take a breath in, breathe out, oh, feel all that space in your mouth and your jaw starting to open. Two more, breathing in, breathing out, good, and one more for luck, the biggest and the best yet. So big breath in, are you ready? Breathe out. Good. Hopefully feeling a bit more like a lion now. And that's a great breath to do to wake up. Let's all come onto our mats and we're gonna come with our knees under our hips and our hands under our shoulders. Remember, if you are stiff or injured or hurting, please just be really careful. So know your bodies and know what you can and can't do, okay? If your knees hurt here, you can put your cushion under them. And we're gonna start with our cow and cat. So we inhale to lift our bellies or lift our chest and our tailbone. And then we exhale, we breathe out to round our backs like an angry cat. So if you have a, a cat and you've seen them angry, they really go, they round their back and push their shoulders up. Let's take three more. Big breath in. Open the chest. Big breath out. Two more. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more to lift the chest. This is all about opening the spine and the back. Big breath out. Good. We're going to do a balance in this shape now. So we've not done this one yet. If you've not been, if you've been here before, you wouldn't have seen this, okay? So this time we're going to use our belly. We lift our belly button up into our back of our spine. So we're getting a strong belly here. And what we want to do is we bring our right leg out so it's straight behind us and really, really strong. So we're kind of drawing the leg out of the body. And then our left arm, so opposite arm to leg, is straightening out. So this is a balance of constant test of concentration as well as using our, our belly to keep us supported. And we're really strong in our fingers and toes because if I if I kind of don't put any energy into it, then I'm just going to wobble and fall. So we want to be really strong. We want to bring the fingers and toes to point away, and we're going to hold for three seconds. So find your focus with your eyes on your mat, and we're going to hold for three, for two, for one, and then come back. Take a breath here. And then switch sides. So we bring our left leg out, our right arm, so opposite arm to leg, and we take a breath. We bring our belly button back and we count for three, for two, for one, and come back. 
How did you get on? And if you fell, it doesn't matter. This is all about just picking yourself back up. Let's come to our rock. So our rock, sometimes we call it a child's pose. A rock is our safe space where we bring our fingertips forward, or if you prefer, you can bring your arms behind you with your hands facing up. And this is not only nice to stretch our backs, because it can feel really good if you start to rock slowly side to side over your legs. This stretches out our back muscles, which can be very tight and stiff, and it stretches out the backs of our legs. But we also find ourselves quite safe here. So if you're feeling a bit worried about things and you find yourself getting panicked, if you come to this shape, rest your head on your mats, it can feel really safe because we're basically coming onto the ground and the ground is still. And if we're feeling like everything's a bit crazy at the moment and we're worried and we just bring ourselves onto our ground, then we find stillness and we find calmness. Just a bit like trees that have um, blurry tree trunks and leaves and then their roots are deep in the earth where they're still and connecting them. So let's just take three breaths here. And then, if you remember, we're going to come up to our snake. So what we do here is we start to slid around Maybe we make a s and then we start to rise our chest up and lift our heart. Now we don't need to be really, really high. We can just be a little bit with our hands forward and lifting our chest and drawing our shoulders down because then we open our chest and we open our back. If it hurts, you can just come onto your forearms, your elbows. You don't want anything to ever hurt in yoga. So let's take a breath here. And then we press back up into our rock shape. Breathe out. Three more. Slither around. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And this also gets into our hips. If you feel them start to open as well. Slither around. Lift up your heart. And breathe out. Very nice. One more. Sliver, sliver, sliver. And breathe out. And if you want for our final one, you can slither around the room. So if you have space, come off your mat. Sliver like a snake. See if you can see your family. S take a little cobra shape. S feel your chest open. Feel your hips open. And then slither back into your rock, a bit like a snake going under its rock again. S good. Next, we spread our hands really wide on our mat. So look forward to your hands. See them really wide on your mat, so your little finger and thumb are really far apart. And then we start to lift up to where we were before, but this time our hands are in front of our shoulders, not under our shoulders. And then we lift our hips to our dog. Remember we talked about how much we love dogs, so enjoy your dog shape. Enjoy stretching the back of your legs and relaxing your neck. So you want to just keep it really heavy your neck, so you're not putting any weight into it. Maybe you just go, <coughs> take a few rolls of your lips. <coughs> and in your dog shape, you can keep your legs really bent if you find it hurts the backs of your legs. Walking them out gets you a stretch down the back of your legs, which can feel really nice and starts to stretch those muscles that are often really tight. And now we're gonna wag our doggy tail. So often, but not always, when dogs are happy, they wag their tails. So start to wag your tail side to side, and this stretches out the side of your body. You're keeping your hands exactly where they are. We're gonna 
take another three, two, one, and then we're going to walk our hands back to our feet and take our swinging tree. Our swinging tree, like we talked about, has roots really deep into the earth, so our feet are still, and the wind just starts to bring the branches side to side. We're also keeping our bellies in, so through all these, we want to keep our belly buttons in, because that keeps us strong, and in a minute, we're going to lift up. So we stay strong in our bodies. Suddenly a big gush of wind comes and it starts to whoosh, lift us up, tall, maybe tall onto your tippy toes. And then it comes down whoosh, and it starts to sway side to side. And then the big gush of wind comes again. It lifts us up and then it whooshes us down. One more, the big gush of wind comes, it lifts us up. We hold here, find a spot on the wall, see if you can balance. Squeeze your bottom in, squeeze your belly in. Hold it for three. Are you still there for two? Are you lifted tall for one? And start to sway those tree traps. Now another really nice shape is in your hanging tree, you start to lift your arms up and maybe you can catch your fingers. If not, you just keep your arms lifted and open your chest. If you catch your fingers, you can start to bring your body over and stretch all the muscles around your shoulders, keep your head heavy, stretch your back, stretch the back of your legs and relax your face. Take three more breaths. Slowly, slowly start to come down. Come onto your seat, really slow, oh, good, find your cushion, find your blocks, take a few rolls of your shoulders, hopefully we've done a few shapes here that have woken your body and stretched your body in all these magical ways. Now let's just slowly start to circle the head. We don't want it to hurt, so just a little bit of stretching down the side of the neck, one way and the other way. Feel the sides of the neck start to open. These can be really, really stiff and tight in all of us, so we just want to open the sides of the neck. And when we're doing this, we can start to chew a little bit like our chili sweet, just to move through the mouth. Take another three, another two, and another one. Nice, everybody. So I love to finish on this really connected, beautiful breathing, where we breathe as a family together. You may have done this with me before. You may have even been practicing it. If not, what I'd like you to do is gather together on someone's mat or in the center of your space, back to back. So you wanna bring your cushions, your blocks, sit on them, have your backs connected, feel each other's bodies. So feel your shoulders, wiggle around just to get cozy. And the key here is we're going to practice this really quietly. No one can talk, it's just about breathing. The aim here is to start to breathe together as a family. So you're going to inhale together and you're going to exhale together. You're going to breathe in together and you're going to breathe out. So place your hands on your back, your shoulder, your knees, sorry, and start to just breathe. Start to just feel the rhythm of your family behind you, breathing in and breathing. 
breathing out. Maybe you can hear them ever so slightly with their breath. And maybe you're already connected and you're doing it at the same time. Or maybe it's a bit out of time, but you're going to get there in a moment. And before we finish this practice, I'd like you to do five breaths all together and see if you can connect your breath with silence in the room, just breathing. Have a go. done that and bring your prayer together you can keep your eyes closed I want you to take a breath in a breath out thank yourself for joining me the more yoga team and all the families that have joined us this morning we're gonna say namaste and namaste is our way of thanking everyone and closing our practice all together Thank you guys for joining me this morning. There are lots of things we did in a short time, so please try to take them away and practice. And take especially that last breathing exercise away and see if you can connect to breathe together maybe 10 times, 15 times, maybe even 20 times. Maybe you can practice that until next time. But let me know how you found it. Have a little comment, so I'll stay around for a couple of minutes to to chat to you if there's any things you want to say or ask, any requests for next time. And thank you again for coming to join us with, with family time. Thank you very much as well. And a lot of family yoga is all about just a little bit of a shift in atmosphere in the home. So the more you come back, the more hopefully you'll refresh your atmosphere and enjoy some fun, quality family time. So I look forward to seeing you again. If anyone knows anyone that wants to join, then bring them along. And I will see you on Thursday, hopefully. Have a great day.